approaching, and we're taking this interview to the farm. Our friends at Family Entourage are at a real pumpkin patch, sharing tips on selecting the perfect pumpkin, DIY decor options, and of course, costumes that have a life longer than just one night. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for having us. I love the setup this time. You're out in the elements. It looks so very festive behind you. Uh, and everybody loves getting in the fall and Halloween spirit, even if you're out of town. So I'm excited that you're going to tell us about where you are today um, and, and how we can get involved in our local pumpkin patches. So where are you today? We are at Tanaka Farms, which is one of Southern California's largest working farms. It's 30 acres, and we love it because it's an actual pumpkin patch where you can pick the pumpkins yourself. Now, year-round, Tanaka Farms also has other seasonal events, so if you're ever in town, make sure that you stop by. But Carly wanted to share some pumpkin tips for everyone, wherever wherever you end up picking your pumpkin. Um, you know, when I first first got our pumpkin and we wanted to make pumpkin pie, you think, oh, you use these big pumpkins to make that. No, no, no. The first tip when you're doing a pumpkin is to make sure you have you decide what you're going to use. So if you're going to be decorating your pumpkin, you want these big pumpkins like the ones you see in the back. If you're making, let's say, pumpkin muffins or pumpkin pie, you want these sweet, they're called pumpkin, sweet pumpkins or baby pumpkins, um, sugar pie pumpkins, you'll see these. So that's what packs the punch for your sweetness for your pumpkin pie. And then another tip is, Feel the pumpkin. Make sure there's no soft spots because that means the pumpkin's already going bad and you want to leave it in the patch. <laughs> um, also make sure you check for any blemishes, as cute as they might be. That also probably means a bug has burrowed in. So <laughs> three three quick tips. You can, of course, head to our blog for more. But um, we're, we love Tanaka Farms because, again, make sure you visit your local farm because there's so much more happening beyond the pumpkin patch. Yeah, it, it's so much fun to get out there and really get your hands, you know, involved in picking out the perfect pumpkin. All of our viewers know I'm a big pumpkin girl, so I love pumpkin candles, pumpkin lattes, you know, you name it. I'm the pumpkin lover here at My Carolina. <laughs> and so all of this is right up my alley. So I'm taking it in and learning all of these tips to take them back home with me. Um, so our viewers, if you were listening right now, write it all down so you don't miss out and you don't forget what the ladies are saying because they have some really great advice, including great advice about Halloween decor and um, I'm really excited about this one because I, I told you last time I'm in my uh, home decor era. <laughs> yes, well, absolutely. I'm with you. I'm everything pumpkin, but not everything mess, right? So sometimes the idea of carving a pumpkin and just seeds and messy is something that I just don't want to deal with. But I still want beautiful pumpkins that can transition maybe even from Halloween into Thanksgiving season. So I love the idea of decorating them. And you know what, Carly, whether I'm, I'm a big DIY person, I like crafting, but even if you have zero of those skills, get yourself a cricket. This little machine is it's like the size of a bread loaf and it can cut paper, it can cut all precision so that you can have these beautiful items. And the thing that we love about Cricut is that it has an entire library, so I don't have to come up with these fonts or even designs on my own. I don't have to be a designer, but I can look like I am. You know, we took a simple craft pumpkin, a blank slate, any color, or you can use a real pumpkin. And then it's so great. They've got these, you know, fun vinyls that are permanent that transfer on. And after the, mach the Cricut machine cuts it, this is actually the Joy Extra. It, you can, you know, get just a little face and then you pull these off and you put them on. And for some of the more intricate designs, they have a transfer tape so you don't have to peel each leg of the spider off and try to put it in the right place. They make it as simple <laughs> as possible. Um, and then even back into the entertaining, you know, we took a simple tray, a serving tray, and are able to, you know, transform it with a, with a little, you know, haunted mansion decal or like you mentioned, the pumpkin candles. Let's, let's put a monogram on it. This is such a cute, so cute. gift. If I'm, if I'm coming over, I'm bringing it to you. <laughs> please, <laughs> but this please, is please. All, <laughs> all easily done with Cricut. That is so awesome and really helps the less creative people bring out those creative juices with the help of that machine because it really does, like you said, it does everything. Helps the kids get creative too and, and lets them get involved. Yes, that whole design space will become your, your best friend and the opportunities are endless. Exactly. And speaking of being creative and getting those juices flowing, we all know what it's like to want to pick out the perfect Halloween costume. And I know you ladies have some great tips for us on that on that front. Well, Carly, we learned the hard way, right? <laughs> when our kids were little, we spent lots of money on costumes and they looked cute for maybe a couple minutes. Maybe we even got a photo out of them, but then they were sweating, they're hot, they're itchy. So here's our tip. 
buy things that the kids can wear beyond Halloween. Okay. So whether it's a costume or a, a set of pajamas that can be turned into a costume, an item that can be they can wear year-round for everyday play, or an a, a item that you have in, a, in your closet already and you turn it into a costume. So I have some helpers with me. Come on out, Kyle and Joshua. Now these boys love Star Wars. So they're wearing Hannah Anderson Star Wars pajamas. This is soft organic cotton. So again, they're not gonna be itching. They're not gonna be worrying about that. They can wear these to the classroom party. They can wear these all year round um, if they wanna be Darth Vader and the Stormtrooper. Um, and again, Kyle also has a hoodie on. So this is that's great too for kids that might be older and maybe the they don't wanna dress up or only wanna dress up to go around the neighborhood. They can wear this year round. So thanks so much, boys. Then I have Kirsten and Sophia. Hannah Anderson has some great everyday clothes that we can turn into costumes. So they have, so cute. Hannah Anderson has sets like this unicorn one that has accessories like a headband. Kirsten, show Miss Carly your tail. Oh my goodness, and a little tail. She paired, it, she paired it with a unicorn jogging set. So again, something you can wear all year round. Sophia, you can wear something that you already have in your closet. We got this red dress from Hannah Anderson. We paired it with a headband and we made a sticker. She is our TWA flight attendant now. <laughs> oh, I love that. Looking good, kids. Those are so creative and so festive. And like you said, parents are going to get so many uses out of these, so it's not just a wear it and toss it to the side anymore. We are getting crafty when it comes to the costumes. Absolutely. And they're, it's super simple to do, right? Exactly. Okay, ladies. Well, there are tons of tips and tricks that you've um, mentioned today. Most of them are treats, not any tricks this Halloween. So <laughs> tell us where we can go for more information. Maybe we missed something and we, want, we need to write it back down. Uh, where can we go to learn all about these awesome tips and tricks you have? Absolutely. You can go to familyentourage.com. We've linked most of the items that we have here. We've um, got, you know, additional tips and some interviews and just come be part of our family. Perfect, ladies. Well, always a pleasure. I can't wait uh, to see what else you have up your sleeve for the holidays coming up because they will be here before we know it. But <laughs> happy Halloween, ladies. Thank you again. Happy Halloween.